MIT's Max Tegmark joins me now on the phone. Max signed a letter for, with Elon Musk to pause AI development. Max, welcome to the program. Can you explain in plain, non-technical uh, English what uh, scares you about AI development? Sure thing. This letter does not call for stopping AI development. It's, AI development should continue. We should do all the great stuff. It just calls for stopping training systems that are more powerful than GPT-4. Because we're racing now to create ever more powerful um, systems that are ever harder to control. And um, well, what, what, what worries you about ever more powerful systems? What could they do to us, our society? Now, Sam Altman, the CEO of uh, OpenAI, who built GPT-4, said himself in the Wall Street Journal yesterday that this is kind of preaching to the choir because he's been for a long time also saying that there are, there are real threats here. You know, we're trying to build machines that are ultimately smarter than humans in all ways. That's the goal. And if you talk to uh, other species and ask them, what's it like, you know, to have to share the planet with with a species that's smarter than you and doesn't care about you. You know, you can ask your Neanderthal friends. It's, it's inconvenient. Uh, and we have so much wonderful stuff we can do with the AI that's not smarter than humans, that's dumber than us. Well, well hold on a second. Let's focus can, on can, that first. Can we do that? You're, you're asking for a pause in the development of more powerful machines, more powerful than GPT-4. Okay, I got that. Can you do that? You'd have to get, wouldn't you have to get all big tech companies like Microsoft involved mm -hmm. and say, okay, we agree to pause. You think Microsoft would pause? They just spent $10 billion on artificial intelligence. Absolutely. Sam Altman himself and, and other tech leaders there, they are have all said that at some point when they get too close to human AI, they want to pause and make sure that it's done safely. But the thing is, no company can pause alone because the competition will just eat their lunch. And by putting pressure on them from outside, it makes it possible for them all to slow down a little bit together so that we can get all the upside of this and not uh, go off the cliff. Okay. And also for society, can I just say, well, you know, I love the free market. So I really don't like monopolies. And what's going to happen if a company gets to superhuman intelligence before anyone else is we're going to get the biggest monopoly history has ever known. And um, oh, it's going to okay. end democracy as we know it. And I think this is something so, this is fair enough. that I just don't want to take. I asked what you were scared of, and you told me it's a threat to democracy as we know. Very interesting. Max, come back soon, please. We want more on this, and I think you know a lot about it. And we appreciate that. MIT's Max Tegmark. Good stuff. Thank you, sir.